Welcome to the 2020 commencement exercises at Columbia College. I'm standing in Prince George Winya Anglican Church in Georgetown, South Carolina. I chose this setting because I want to bring at least some sense of normalcy to the surreal situations surrounding graduation ceremonies all over the world. I also chose this setting because next year this congregation will be celebrating its 300th anniversary of its founding. Like Columbia College, values and traditions have withstood time and tribulation, and both institutions face a promising future with faith, hope, and love. In turbulent times, many people turn to the Psalms for comfort and solace. One of my favorites is Psalm 8, and I've chosen these verses, but also have translated them in paraphrase, so they capture our founding as a woman's college and our commitment to inclusiveness. O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. When I look at the stars and the heavens and the work of your fingers, the moons and the stars which you have set in place, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? Yet you have made us little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned us with glory and honor. Today we affirm this remarkable class, the achievements you've made, the honor and glory of the class of 2020. History will probably call you the COVID class of 2020. Throughout your lives, the phrase, the COVID class, will have a bittersweet ring to it. The word bittersweet is often used at graduations, but this time with so much more meaning and poignancy. Bitter because of all the things you have lost these past six weeks, regular classes with your professors and your classmates, opportunities for study groups, personal and professional advice from faculty and staff, sporting events and for the athletes your final season, music and dance performances and for the performers the final big showcase of your talents, meals together, hugs saying goodbye, and the parties, oh yes, the parties, the good times with good friends. While we need to acknowledge and even mourn what you've missed and lost during the pandemic, we also need to find joy and promise in what you have gained and found, what you have achieved and what you will achieve throughout your life. You've adapted, adjusted, endured, and succeeded in the most turbulent time in the history of higher education, certainly since World War II. William Faulkner captured what you have achieved in his 1950 acceptance speech when he received the Nobel Prize for Literature. He said that the narrative of life is not that we should merely endure, but that we are destined to prevail. You have not merely endured, you have prevailed. You have been and are what they said at the opening of the Star Trek television series. You've gone to the final frontier you, to explore strange new worlds, to seek a new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no woman or man has gone before. Like the psalmist, you are crowned with honor and glory, but you are the 2020 version of Trekkies. In 25 previous commencement exercises, including nine at Columbia College, I've had the honor and privilege to offer a charge to the graduates. For the class of 2020, my charge to you is so very familiar, and in light of being the COVID class, so very appropriate. It's the four C's, courage, commitment, confidence, competence. In unsettling and disruptive times like these, we need to remember and cling to values and truths that have served us wisely and well. Such are the four C's. Courage. For 166 years, this remarkable college has been graduating women and men with courage. Courage to be leaders, trailblazers, champions, and stars, but also the grit and perseverance to overcome obstacles and to manage adversity. 
My first charge to the class of 2020 is to be courageous in big and small ways, to step up and lean in, to take risks as you make a difference. Commitment. Success does not come from merely showing up. It comes from a commitment to excellence, to a cause, to a principle, to a belief. As the class of 2020 goes forth, commit your life to doing your best. Commit your heart to something beyond yourself. Commit your very being to social justice and improving the human condition. Confidence. In the video of encouragement, the words of encouragement that we have sent over the last two weeks, there has been a simple theme, even a phrase that we've used over and over. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this. And you do. You've got the confidence, the panache, the will, the pizzazz, the wherewithal, the style, and the grace to succeed. To the class of 2020, believe in yourself as your faculty and staff believe in you. Enter the next chapter of your life with confidence. Competence. Debbie Fields of Fields Bakeries is credited with saying, good enough never is. She's right. Good enough never is good enough. Competence rules. Competence prevails. To the class of 2020, I urge you to never accept good enough. Only accept the highest level of confidence and competence possible. And continue to reflect on ways to continuously improve. In 2045, 25 years from now, you will gather for a reunion to celebrate the anniversary of this graduation. You will be called the class, the COVID class of 2020. And you will respond loudly, yes, we are, and darn proud of it. It isn't that you merely endured, you prevailed. You'll say that our lives have been marked by, but also inspired by those times of turbulence. And we've succeeded because we believed in and followed the four C's. Courage, commitment, confidence, and competence. We've been crowned with glory and honor. We are the class of 2020. Today and always, may God bless the class of 2020. I'm Lisa Livingston Fusco, the Columbia College Alumni Association President. You are an elite class of Columbia College students. You've contributed leadership, dedication, and integrity to this institution, and your legacy will always be present as you leave her hallowed halls. As your representative to the Columbia College Alumni Association, I welcome you into the fifth oldest association of its kind in the country. On this special day, I challenge you to begin planting seeds for the next generation of Columbia College students, reminding them always of our rich heritage since the founding of the college in 1854. You have worked hard for your success, and I hope Columbia College will always have a special place in your hearts. To the graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations, best wishes, and welcome to the Columbia College Alumni Association.
Lift your voice for those before us. We can rely. 